Yeliza Zarka dan Maria Stoliarenko pertama kali tampil di Indonesia pada November 2021 sebagai pasangan ganda putri sekaligus warga bebas. Hampir setahun kemudian, Liza dan Maria, begitu panggilannya, kembali ke Indonesia sebagai atlet pengungsi. Perjalanan karir atlet bulu tangkis berusia 30 dan 18 tahun itu terhambat usai negaranya Ukraina diserang pasukan Rusia sejak akhir Februari lalu. Keluarga Maria memilih mengungsi ke Polandia, sementara Liza memilih menetap di kota mereka, Kharkiv, salah satu kota yang mendapat serangan hebat dari militer Rusia. Praktis, semua kegiatan mereka sebagai atlet terhenti, hingga keduanya memutuskan untuk berlatih dan bertanding di negara-negara tetangga. After Poland, uh, uh, I first uh, go to France because I also play uh, in French Liga, and my French club uh, invite me uh, to go to France, and they help me to find a place for sleep, to find a place for practicing, and after I. Uh, text to Masha that she can also join me in France because if we want to continue our badminton career uh, like a pair, we need to practice together. 100% it's uh, very difficult to stay focused on court even when you play tournament, when you go to play on court, sometimes you can lose your focus because you still um, you're nervous and uh, um, afraid For your families. Tekad untuk melanjutkan karir sebagai atlet bulu tangkis rupanya makin bulat. Mereka terbang ke Asia untuk berlatih dan bertanding dengan dukungan banyak pihak, termasuk Federasi Bulu Tangkis Dunia dan negara-negara Asia. Our federation decided to, to organize like uh, our participation in uh, Asian leg of tournaments in the summer. And they booked only one way ticket for us to Asia. Good thing that they uh, show us uh, good support, and uh, also from our side we uh, take a lot of experience from this uh, time. Yes, because uh, Asian culture and uh, also Asian level of badminton it's really different compared to European. Dukungan pun mengalir dari rekan-rekan atlet bulu tangkis dunia. Di ajang Indonesia Open kali ini tak hanya beban di lapangan, namun misi yang mereka emban ikut bertambah. It's an amazing feeling to play in Astora Stadium with full of spectators. Even And in first day, in first yeah. round, it's amazing. So we are thankful for this opportunity, not only for play badminton in the so high level tournaments uh, here in Indonesia, but also uh, for representing our country in these difficult times. We want that uh, people around the world uh, Don't forget about situation and uh, continue to support uh, Ukraine for in this war because we just want to save our country and to save our freedom.